Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing one of my favorite exercises to open the hamstrings and the posterior chain called elephant walks. For this one, all you're going to need is some kind of surface. I have been using an ottoman today. You can literally use anything that you have at home, your bed, a chair, and possibly if you're a little bit more flexible, we'll be using yoga blocks or the ground. Um, and without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into it. Or maybe you're, um, you're like me where you can't naturally touch your toes or um, without stretching, that's not something that's quite easier for you. So if this is the case, this is definitely a movement you're going to want to keep into your routine. So I'm going to start nice and high. So we're going to be finding a forward, a forward fold. So I want you to bring your feet hip width apart. And then you're going to think about sending your butt back behind you, finding a hip hinge. And wherever your hands naturally touch, maybe it's here, maybe it's a bit closer to the ground, that's where you're going to find what your height of your object is. So I'm going to start nice and high today. I am a little tight as well. Um, so we're setting those hips back. Hands are going to come down to that surface. And right away, we're going to think about pushing into the surface. So we're turning on the core, pushing your hands into whatever object you're using. And then we're going to start to bend one knee and straighten the other knee. But what I don't want is the hips to go side to side. So you're going to bend the knee straight back behind you, squeeze the quad of the leg you're straightening. And then in that bent knee, um, that's all you're doing is just bending it slightly. Heel can slightly lift the floor. So we're going to bend one, straighten the other, squeeze the quad on that leg that you are straightening. And think about allowing, pushing the hip, pushing that hamstring straight back. So we don't want to have the hips going side to side. So you're going to start to pedal the legs, squeezing one hamstring, squeezing one quad, bending the other. And we're going to do this for somewhere around 15 to 50 reps. As you're doing this, you can even kind of see as I'm getting into it, you're going to notice that the hamstrings start to stretch out. And if you could barely touch your toes before, before this one, you might start to be able to do it after. So that's at a pretty high height. Once these start to get a little bit easier, we can get ourselves a little bit closer to the floor by using something like a yoga block. And same thing, I'm going to send my hips back. Hands are going to go down, push into your blocks, feet are hip width apart. And then we're going to start to bend that other knee, bend one knee, straighten the other leg. And you might feel this one really big through the hamstrings. I'm feeling them a bit behind my knees. And you might feel the calves. Some people are also going to feel big stretch all the way up the posterior chain, somewhere into the glutes and lower back. And again, I'm pushing my hands in. I'm squeezing the quad of the straightened leg. And I'm thinking about sending the hamstring straight back instead of off to the side, because it shouldn't look like my hips are going side to side like a dance move. It should be looking like they're going straight back behind me. And again, as we get better at these, we can bring our hands closer to the ground. And eventually, We'll be able to do these all the way down on the floor. You can see I'm not quite enough open enough to get my palms on the floor, but we can do fingertips. And then eventually you have your palms on the ground. Ah, it's funny how this one works like, like that. Somewhere between 15 to 50 reps. This is a great exercise to do before you do anything where you're going to work the hamstrings to get them very strong and long before you do that. Um, and if you're someone who struggles with never being able to touch their toes or really feeling tight in the lower body, this can be one of those um, moves that really changes the, changes the game for you. So if you enjoyed this one, hit me a, um, hit me a subscribe and um, save and share with your friends who need this one. Happy moving.